Do you remember the drinking bird, or maybe yours was called a bobble bird? Well, it's dipped its beak into a glass of water, and now it is 61 years old. The inventor is now living right here in West Michigan, and News 3's Holly Doyle is here with tonight's Positively Michigan. People probably always wondered where these things <laughs> came from, right. right? Well, the patent was issued in 1945, but the idea began years before, and originally had nothing to do with a bird. It wasn't the music or even the lights on an old jukebox. It was the bubbles that inspired an invention. I saw those and I said to myself, my goodness, all that energy and it isn't going anyplace. Surely I can do something with that energy. That's how the drinking bird came to be. Do you see those bubbles going up it? That's it wasn't always going to be a bird. Miles Sullivan a, uh, just wanted to harness to motion. Black. To make it entertaining, it became uh, the bobble bird. Oh, While it's simply for shape. fun, it's science that makes it work. It is a, what we call a heat engine. That can be built when there are temperature <laughs> differences that create energy. To start the bobbing, dunk the head in the water. The bottom bulb is room temperature. The heat down here raises the vapor pressure of the liquid inside to a higher degree than, the, uh, than it is up in the head. The liquid methylene chloride rises, making it top heavy and it tips. The top of it, we drop the temperature down by letting it drink a little water it cools the vapor, the liquid drops back down to the bottom, the bird straightens up. As long as there's water, it can go forever, and they'll last forever. He still has the first ones he made. This would be one of my models, mm -hmm. and this is hand-blown. These are more than 65 years old, and they how they originally looked. Little, so this was the first manufactured bird. They still work fine. Who knows how many million have sold and still sell. They ended up out of Sullivan's hands, but he doesn't mind. I wasn't in this for money. He was in it for the fun. Named inventor of the year in 1979, Sullivan's had dozens of inventions. He was a chemist for Bell Laboratories. Maybe 20 inventions, he says, were useful. Probably none as well known, though, as the drinking bird, a phenomenon he never expected. At the time, I had no conception of that. Now, mm -hmm. oh, I think it's pretty neat now. <laughs> Definitely wow. pretty neat. And there you can is. still get them. I bought this one today. You can get them online too, but he said he's never met anyone who hasn't at least heard of it, let alone had one themselves. Isn't that wild? I, I know. Great. There he goes. <laughs> oh, that's that's really fantastic. great. Thank you, Holly. Yep. The Lions signed a new quarterback.